Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to take a look to reciprocal function and we're going to graph them using tables. Okay, so this is the parent graph of a uh, reciprocal function f of x equals 1 over x, and this is the general form of a uh, reciprocal function. They model inverse variation, by the way. And another thing that we're going to be aware x cannot be 0, right? Because then it's undefined. And we're going to look to these two graphs first using a table and then we're gonna see if we can have a shortcut so yeah i saw the table x f of x or y um we're gonna make we're gonna put here zero and like i said for zero is undefined all right we don't even look to that but then if you think about the first number being one that's great two and three i think we have enough but why not 0.5 here right the same story here, negative 0.5, negative 1, and I guess negative 2 will be good enough. So we're going to plug each value, and I'm going to start with the positive one. Let's start with 0.5. If you plug 0.5, f of 0.5 will be 1 divided by 0.5, and that will be 2. If we do 1, f of 1 is a very simple one, right? It's 1 over 1, which will be 1 f of 2 again it should not be that complicated is 1 over 2 which is 0 0.5 and uh, 3 x equals 3 we get f of 3 is 1 over 3 or 0 0.33 okay what about negative value then let's put couple let's put one in it Let's put the negative one, and that would be a very good thing to look at. So we have f of negative one, that will be one over negative one, which is negative one. And hopefully you notice here, right? Look at here to a to, to, to couple of things, right? Uh, we have negative one and negative one, one and one. So if you think about that you can use a shortcut a pattern here yeah you're right here is going to be negative 0.5 this is not going to be negative 2 well, you can simply use a calculator and do that. so now we can we can uh, do the graph one more time let me let me mention that zero is very important and uh, if you plot these points <laughs> one by one you should get this look at here uh, i plot them and get this graph right uh, 0 0.5 and 2 right here 1 and 1 2 and 0 0.5 and 3 and 0 0.3 and another thing that you notice if you multiply x and y always you get that 1 yeah that is because we have inverse variation what else you notice we have two branches the top and the bottom right uh, this graph these branches these branches, if you notice, do not touch x-axis and y-axis. Right? They go asymptotic. X-axis and y-axis are asymptotes. The domain, the domain will be any number but zero, except in zero, right? We knew that in the beginning. And the range, the ranges can be also in the picture, which can be seen in the picture. Is any number except the zero okay so let's take a look to the second one using kind of the same strategy uh, table right x f of x and again we know let's put zero here uh, one two why not four negative one negative 2, negative 4. Again, if you remember, 0 is undefined. We need to be careful. When x is 1, we have 2 over 1, and it's going to be 2. When x is uh, 2, we have 2 divided by 2 is 1, and when x is 4, we have 2 divided by 4, 1 half. So, 1.5. We see the same pattern like the previous one. The numbers are decreasing. Uh, also, if you multiply 1 times 3, you get 2, 2 times 1, you get 2, 4 times 1 half, you get these 2. So, yeah, this is inverse variation. 
Yeah. And the same story here. We're going to have negative 1 half, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so we can plot and do and get a decent graph, which is the red one, right? The red one, if you take a look, is the one that goes with the values. Right? We have uh, 1 and 2, 2 and 1, 4 and 1 half, and that's the graph, right? And the same for the other branch. Now, if you Take a look to this bold graph. This, this is the pattern graph, right? 1 over x. This is 2 over x. Very, very similar. Very hard to make a difference unless you look to some specific points. Like 1 and 1, it's here. Here we have 2 and 1, or 1 and 2. So, uh, you need to be careful with these graphs in order to identify, if you need to identify, uh, equation for the graphs. That brings me to also to a kind of a shortcut if you want. So let's say you have to graph f of x equals 4 over x. Uh, by now, hopefully, remember, x-axis and y-axis are asymptotes. So yeah, if you think about graphing something like that, you are not wrong. This sh should be uh, similar to 4 over x. But let's put some points. I will suggest to make x equals 1, right? x equals 1, we get f of 1. Being four, so yeah, that will be let's say something like that one and four, and four and one will be something like that, and the same story here. The two points here, okay, this one is going to be negative four and negative one, and this one here is going to be negative one and negative four, okay. So, yes, this is a good shortcut. We have two asymptotes, and then you know, some points to be sure you have the correct graph. You see that right here. 1 and 1, 1 and 4, 4 and 1, negative 4 and 1, negative 4 and negative 1, negative 1, and negative 4. So, uh, what do you think about you doing this graph and let's check if you have something similar of mine. If you end up with something like this, then you did a wonderful graph. You see how similar this graph with the other is. And we see here 1 and 5, right? When x is 1, y is 5, 5 and 1. When x is 5, y is 1. And you see that in the solution I mentioned at the beginning. And also here, we have negative 5, negative 1 as a point, and negative 1, negative 5. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more math videos. Thank you.